Oh hi, right, good morning. So, <clears throat> today's video is going to be on Warchief because I have um, just to do the four um, difficulties, which I don't think it works correctly because this is a very le old legendary quest. Like, they don't even give legendaries to heroes anymore, which is kind of sad. But, uh, <clears throat> so it says we have to do difficulty five or four above for four times. I think it's fine doing it just normally. See right now if it even procs. I think I remember when I used to play it did work. Uh, so we're gonna take you out. We just need a lot of survivability on this team. Um, perfectly fine though because we have <coughs> uh, War Chief already awakened so he's gonna be fine. Where is he? I skipped him. He's level four. There he is. That was the wrong uh, totem, but yeah. So we have to do this four times, and then we're going to have to do probably a solo stage with him. See how he does with that. Now let's see if this counted towards the progress of the legendary quest, because if not, then there's really no point. Yeah. <clears throat> Figuring this out. It did, okay. Alright, so we're doing all the legendary quest of Warchief today, so that will be fine. That's the one I'm going to do correctly. I'm leveling up Minstrel, so he'll be added to the team eventually for this. But I'm still low level, I can just use this team and be fine. Warchief's going to be obviously switched out for Iron Huff. Um. Actually, Warchief's not bad. Once I get him to level 5, uh, I don't know how much of a bonus his life skill rating increases. Uh, see if it's worthwhile or not. <clears throat> but, I mean, he does have an, a mortal stage when you get his legendary skill. He becomes a mortal after he reses. His awakening makes it so he has a lot more HP for sure. So I don't think he would be the worst because he's going to help keep everyone alive that are physical attackers, which is mainly going to be tanks. Uh, Dual weird's amazing for this because he does have a shield to keep him alive. And of course, Deb's voice also has her second chance because she, whenever she get, receives lethal damage, she dives down below. Now, definitely I would love if I could get... Uh, well, I say get, I gotta finish the skin for Cleric and then level him up quite a bit. Uh, I'm not really sure if any of these other heroes that I have are gonna be heroes that I want for this. Because I love Diseasebringer and of course you can't go wrong with Chaplain. But Chaplain isn't the best healer there is. I have a level 12 though, so she does do her job. <clears throat> and since this guy is a physical attacker, she does make it so he does a little bit less damage than the whole team. Uh, that should be enough. All right, we did four times. Yeah, that was the fourth one. Okay, we'll go to War Chiefs. Now he has to do. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Which one is it? it has to be Chapter 15. Into the Doom. I'm guessing it's middle. No, there it is. Yeah, uh, we could just put him solo in all honesty. See how he does. <laughs> he shouldn't die. He has 58,000 power with my totem. He should be fine. Uh, he would definitely be a good hero to give a um, skin to and a artifact. I think for an artifact for him though, he should have the immunity. Whenever he, or even with uh, stores his HP, so like doubles up on his fourth skill. But I definitely think he should have something to do with the undead, um, giving him like his allies a chance to revive whenever he does. That would be kind of cool uh, for a skin concept. I'm not really sure. I like I liked Warchief when he first came out. Uh, well, he's been in the game for a long time. I like how he looks awakened, 
but definitely he could be a very lethal hero because his kit isn't bad. I mean, his ultimate's kind of mediocre. I think if they gave him a skin, it should change his ultimate so it could hit multiple targets. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to solo this because his ultimate doesn't really do a lot of damage. <clears throat> the boss is just going to outheal him, so we'll swap in a additional damage dealer right there. Like, if we go look at... Well, actually, we'll do that in a second. Let's use... That was the wrong one. It's this one. Um, yeah, you, you know what? We'll just do Poison One. Poison One's also a hero that I would love to see a Legendary uh, rework, actually. Because his Legendary skill is not the greatest bonus. Uh, but he does need an artifact. He definitely needs a skin. Uh, it would be nice if it was a free skin. <clears throat> but we all know that's not gonna happen. Oh, worship actually might die. Well, he still has his other um, his immunity, so he'll be fine. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, see, that was not a lot of HP he was with. Um, so hopefully, when they get him to level five, he'll get sorted out. <clears throat> I wonder if that counts negatively since he died. I don't think... Oh, no. Yeah, it completed it. So, there we go. Got the Legendary of War Chief. As I said, now he has a mortal revive, so whenever he gets revived, he can't be harmed, and he gains additional strength. I Meaning he does do more at attack, so... We'll go see him right now. I always skip past him. There he is. Yeah, that's not really a lot. Oh, I'm gonna have to level up his skill. Yeah, that's not a lot of strength because most characters have like plus 10,000 strength nowadays. He doesn't right now because he's not leveled up like crazy. Or well, like a high awakening, but whenever we do do the awakening dungeon, when I have a few more heroes at level three, uh, I could also do some coming up. We'll make a video on some heroes. I haven't decided who I'm gonna awaken out of the heroes. I have five star right now. Uh, I have Death Melody in the back, who's at four stars, but I'm gonna be focusing everything I get towards him because um, I do like him. But anyways, like his ultimate does a stun it doesn't it actually causes magic damage so it's not even based off his physical damage that's something interesting um i would definitely think it should be something similar to like divine knight's ultimate where it just rains down swords on everyone oh no not that's not his ultimate that's just third skill i think yeah um something like that for his ultimate give him wide area effect like the thing that is good about him is his third skill that bonus life steal but it's I don't know how much it is. For some reason I thought it was his fourth skill, but no, that's his fourth skill. He does not have a lot of HP when he revives, so definitely an artifact would give him extra HP whenever he reses. Um, it'd be kind of interesting. Uh, his power swing is where he does his most damage for sure, where he just uh, stabs the entire group of enemies, <clears throat> what thrusts forward I mean. But anyways, that's him. Uh, let's see who we're going to do next. Gain accuracy bonus. I don't think that's as important. Gain extra. That actually can be good. Um, but I don't know actually how many heroes I have that fall under the machinery type that needs that bonus. Let's see anyone higher up that I have? Warrior monk. I no warrior monk's actually a good. Um, yeah, warrior monk's actually a good one. So we're gonna do warrior monk. So let's see what we need to do. Okay, I'm gonna need a crusade shield and a de uh, deceiver sword. Anyways, let's do this. <coughs> oh, I did get a fragment. Yeah, I like to do this like two times. We're gonna be buying some stamina though for each one because I get my gems back every day uh, by doing a lot of. Uh, plundering and then also doing a high ranking in arena so we'll just buy three things of stamina so we can have it for the day 
All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So it's just speculation. One day I hope that we can just get everything for free. But I doubt it because this game has been out for so long. And they'll probably make a second one. Who knows? <clears throat> How many flying pens do I have? I only have three. Wow. Anyways, now Warrior uh, Monk is the next one. War Chief is sorted out. I don't know how much of a benefit he's going to be getting. Uh, having. This will... I mean, we could try it. I don't have a leveled up yet, so... Once we get leveled up... Once I get him level 5, we'll make a review on him more. Uh, because you do get him for free to 5 when you do the Awakening Dungeon high enough. And you do t uh, stage 14 or 15. I wanted them to get the... It gives me a senior crystal and another, um, his actual awakening crystal. So, yeah. That should be enough on War Chief. We got War Chief sorted out. Warrior Monk's the next one. And then, I think... I'm trying to remember. I do have another here that can get a legendary that I was looking at. No, we got Master Mage. We got Imperial Executioner. Cleric does- wait, Cleric does have his. Huh. I forgot I gave him his one as well. Oh, Death Knight. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah, Death Knight's the one that's going to be next after Warrior Monk. Uh, because his is actually grants additional armor to any undead heroes, which is actually pretty good. Uh, it buffs him, it buffs a lot of actually good heroes. Like, if we go over to the undead- or uh, Cemetery Ghost. Uh... I can't wait to get Girl of Course leveled up, but I really enjoy Poison One of Course. A professional Killer, I hear good things from what I was looking at. Death Mage of Course is amazing. War Chief even. Um, <clears throat> Sorceress, uh, Spectral Apostle, and Burning Knight. Burning Knight's a hero, or not Burning Knight, Flaming Knight's a hero that I would love to get awakened all the way up. But he's only at level 2 right now, so it's going to be a minute before that happens. And then, of course, uh, Lunar Guardian, Lunar Guardian uh, is also a good one. Uh, I've been holding back on Lunar Guardian, though, because I don't have his skin. Uh, so that does kind of suck. I remember when Lunar Guardian was actually riding a tiger, just like... Um, well, no, he wasn't riding it. He was, like, riding, like, a, a warg. And then, um, yeah, Commando... A uh, Commando was also running on a tiger. She used to ride on top of a tiger, but now she just flies. It's weird. I've been playing this game for so long. Like, yeah. What was the game? Soul Hunters? That was like the same thing, kind of, but this game always outshined it. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Soul Hunters is dead. I'm not sure. I have yet to see it anymore. Um, I haven't really looked into it after these years. But anyways, we got War Chief sorted out. Divine Knight would actually be a good... It was his, No, it's a second skill that summons the swords. Isn't it? I'm trying to remember. I don't really use Divine Knight. I could awaken him. I think I might. I gotta look at how many tanks I have awakened. Because I think I have too many tanks awakened right now. Bloody Tyrant's also a tank that I kind of want to level up. Because I got to level up his artifacts. Uh, he does have an artifact, which is nice. But I think he's going to be good just for damage. Because he always had great damage. Pony was added. So it's going to either be between him or Divine Knight. If I'm going to do a tank. Fighters. Oh, he's actually not a tank. He's a fighter. Uh, well, he's still a flunt line. But yeah. I definitely want to be upgrading Bloody Hunter. Scarlet Snitch. Uh, actually, I heard bad things about Scarlet Snitch. Definitely Nine-Tailed Fox. Black Tulip, for sure. And then, of course, we have Gold of Course, as I was talking about audio. Um, I'm just leveling her up right now because I'm going to be putting her on a team for uh, World Boss. Well, actually, let's talk about World Boss because Elite World Boss was a nightmare to do. Um... <clears throat> As you can see, my highest damage is 1.2, and it's just, oh my god. I did not even know that they changed him, so he could do execute, which just means he was straight up one-shots heroes. 
Um, I was not expecting that <coughs> at all. So this was the team that I was using to survive. Um, you know, honestly, I would take out Hammer of Judgment and throw in War Chief to see, but you definitely want to be leveling up uh, Thunder Tiger. If you have Treasure Hunter, he's good as well. I think everyone's given to he's given to everyone when you do those Tomb Escape stuff. A Scarlet Sickle, amazing, and of course Depth's Voice. You don't even need his skin for either of them actually. Um, I do have them because it definitely makes them better, but they're great heroes without them, especially for something like this, uh, because of the fact that they have their second stages. Watch, he's probably gonna get one shotted. War Chief, and then, oh, where's the execute, there's the execute, as you can see right there, <coughs> I don't really notice a crazy amount of life still with everyone, um, I don't expect War Chief to do crazy damage, we actually are doing higher damage than we've done before, wow, uh, look at that, wow, that is some crazy damage, actually War Chief. Kept everyone alive a little bit longer with the extra life steal. Surprising. Uh, yeah, as you can see, he did not do a lot of damage. <laughs> He's the lowest out of everyone. Thunder Tiger, I definitely need to awaken him and get his um, artifact higher level because I think he's one of those heroes that if you have him on a team, he's going to be able to solo a team by himself. Uh, awaken him, get him trained up. Uh, as you can see, Scarlet Sickle did the most damage on my team, and then Treasure Hunter did the second highest. And you gotta realize, Treasure Hunter is a very easy hero to get. I have his artifact only level 23, and it's only level 2. Uh, and still did all that damage, that was kinda crazy. <coughs> but as you see, we'll go do another run. Um, I definitely need to be upgrading my totems, I forget to do it all the time. So we're going to be seeing what we can get sorted out with this. I wish he didn't one-shot everyone with Execute because I know how Master would do amazing and so would any hero that could debuff. Uh, does that, actually, you know what? Because he plays more of a support role, Warchief, I think he should be given, like whenever he does his, um, a thrust forward, his second skill, it should reduce armor. So it could actually make it so my entire team does more damage. See right there. Let's we'll see if we can actually beat that damage. What was it? 1400? I mean, 1400. 1.4 mil. We did lose Thunder Tiger a little early on. Uh, that kind of sucks. Then again, he's not even awakened and he's still pumping out damage. Yeah, look. Still. Scarlet Sickle's the high damage on my team. Now I need to reach 1.5 mil if I can. Uh, that would be the craziest damage I could hit. Yeah, if they gave him an artifact to heal him a little bit more, he probably would have survived longer. Uh, War Chief, he definitely would deserve a good skin. Like, Corrupt Angel became so good when he got his skin first out. Something like that, something that give him more support and keep everyone else alive on his team. Or even res them, as a, uh, revive them as a chance, that would be kind of nice. Can we break 1.4? No, we got close. But it's always Scarlet Sickle dying too early or Thunder Tiger dying too early. There we go. At least we are Legend 4. Um, Rewards we're going to be getting for Legend 4 is going to be a hundred <coughs> tokens. Uh, I've been buying mostly only. What's his name? Sorry. <coughs> Arcane Sapper skin. Uh, at some point, we're going to be seeing if. Uh, I'm not actually sure. Sorry. Thunder Tiger, we're going to be buying whenever we see him in here. Uh, when I can afford it. I remember when I got the glitch with... Uh, sorry. Uh, with all these boss coins and was able to get a lot of good things sorted out. But Thunder Tiger is definitely going to be expensive because he's not a epic hero. He's a legendary. 
So he actually cost like 400 coins, I think, just to get 10 of his skin or 10 of his uh, soul stones. So that does kind of suck. But uh, anyways, that should be it for the video. We got War Chief sorted out. Surprisingly, helped out actually on my team for uh, Elite Ward boss. But anyways, uh, everyone have a wonderful day. That's it. Bye.